Sudo is a Unix command line tool which allows you to do things for which you need special privileges, such as formatting your hard drive or installing new software. Well, that's hardly exciting, but can you imagine how awesome it would be if you could use Sudo in real life? Well, I don't have any superpowers myself, myself but I do want to share something with you which I think comes close. Let's talk about data science at the command line. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jeroen Janssens, and I am a data scientist here in New York at a startup called Yplan. And as a data scientist, I work with all kinds of data, and I have to answer all sorts of questions. Now, to get insight into this data, I find it very effective to visualize it. And visualizations play a very important role in data science, and one done right, visualizations can lead to collaboration and more questions and perhaps even knowledge. <clears throat> so while it's very exciting to visualize using ggplot or D3, a lot of work has to be done before you get to the good stuff. It has to be prepared. The, the data has to be prepared. You have to get it, scrub it, merge it, parse it, buy it, use it, break it, fix it. My goodness. So <clears throat> computers are amazing at this, as you all are well aware. They make us faster, more effective, and more precise. But just using the computer isn't good enough. Too often I see people dragging and dropping and clicking buttons from start to finish. And when something changes, like the data or the problem, they have to start all over again. Now, surely we can do better than that. And programming solves this by allowing us to define the process, the entire process, in code <clears throat> so that you can easily share this and uh, reproduce this at a later stage. And that is fantastic. But what if you start with a new data science project? And what are you going to do? Do you start all over? Uh, are you going to copy code from an old project? Are you going to refactor existing code? Um, no, data scientists are not software engineers. Surely we can do better than just programming. We, we data scientists need to, need to explore and, and play and prototype. So tools, I think that tools are the way to go here. Tools that you use from the command line. And many people are unfortunately afraid of the command line or are, are unaware of its power. And while this technique originates from the 70s, I believe that it remains a very powerful <clears throat> environment to process data. So I'm sure you've heard of the classics, such as uh, grab, awk, set, tail, cut. But it's also very easy to create your own tools. So I'm very happy uh, to announce that O'Reilly, uh, somewhere next year, is going to come out with a book called Data Science at the Command Line. And when exactly depends on how fast I'll be able to write it up. So why exactly is data science so suitable? Um, or why is the command line so suitable for data science? It's because getting insight in your data is an iterative process, right? And the command line allows you to <clears throat> quickly execute a command, see if it works, and continue. And these commands, they adhere to the Unix um, philosophy, which you see here. They do one thing and do it well. They work together, and they use text as uh, their interface, because it's a universal interface. Now, the next time, <clears throat> well, creating your own tools is very easy. You just have to put your commands in, uh, in a text file, add a hash bang to it, make it executable, and put it on your path. So as you grow create more and more tools, you slowly build up this, uh, this data toolbox of yourself. So the next time you have to parse timestamps or handle Unicode Snowman, you just use, uh, reuse your tool. So of course, the command line can only get you so far. At a certain point when you're ready to visualize or model your data, you probably want to continue in a statistical programming environment like R or Python and friends. Still, given the power of the command line and its speed and flexibility, I definitely think it's worthwhile to try this out in your next data science project. Thank you very much.